Hola, ¿qué pasó? Sac pasé, año nacido, Rivet, Vamo Axalam, Exe. And I did say, look, it's no more Happy New Year. Please, I beg, Vico, Joe, eh? No more Happy New Year's. Eh? The New Year has passed. That is why my people have resorted to say Happy New Month. Might as well. Look. This is the second day of February, the shortest month of the year. So we have to give Almighty God thanks that we are here on the land of the living amidst all of the pain and the agony and the confusion and the killings. Oh my God. It's such a heavy load for anyone to bear. Sometimes I don't know how we do it, but we have to manage to find the breathing moments like I do. It's not easy. Who's having pain? Who's having illnesses? Who has family members in the hospital? Who has dogs in the hallway trying to interrupt my breathing moment? Who has loved ones that don't speak to them? Who has um, financial troubles? And I'm sure I can see all those hands going up, going up, going up. It's exhausting at times, my people. Now, uh, uh, of all the time I hear, quiet, quiet, is the time I choose to talk to all you, is when the choppy the dogs start to bark. You hear trouble like you ever see trouble so? Hmm. Anyway, I'm chillaxing at home today because hoy es miércoles. I went for my little waka waka earlier. And I started doing my breathing moments, all out of breath, as someone pointed to pointed out to me that, girl, you be out of breath doing them breathing moments. Hmm, ain't that something? Well, I certainly not out of breath right now. Y'all heard, ain't that right? Mm hmm So I did it while I was waka waka in, but a call came in from Jamaica, so I had to stop, you know. That's what happened. That's why I'm doing it at home. Just, I guess, practicing on this with this ring light I got for auditions. It seems like vaxxed or no vax, work is hard to get, you know? But you got to keep on trying, guys. Got to keep on, keep at it, and something got to give. So, as I was saying, it's not easy. Um, I uh, just want to say my condolences to those two young men that gave their lives. The funeral was today and the other day, so it's still fresh in our thoughts and in our minds. They sacrificed their lives for their city, their country. They had a purpose. Both of them knew what they wanted to do from babies. And so, but one of the things that uh, jumped out at me is how the wife of the first cop that had his funeral said, you know, they were fighting before he died. And that was so sad because he told her, he said, this may be the last time you see me. And so said, so done. And she feels horrible, you know, but this kind of thing happens and it happens all the time and it happens too often but you know the word of god said don't let the sun go down on your wrath okay they were newlyweds you know so and i know some of you guys have experience you've been married a long time or you've been in relationships but please let's not let the problem get any worse people have misunderstandings people have um you know, verbal fights at times. So, you know, smash it out before the end of the day. If you guys live together and if you guys, you know, coexist around each other, squash it out because you have to sleep in the same bed, mend it up, kiss, make up, and go on with your day because tomorrow is not promised. 
tomorrow is not promised. We don't know what will happen and from even in an hour from now, no one knows. So we have to just do what we have to do. Live each day like it's your last day on earth because nobody knows tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But this is Hoy Es Miracles. And um, I just want to mention a very dear person in my life who passed and his birthday would have been today. That's one of the best brothers in the whole wide world. You know, what brother can you communicate with? He's so patient, so kind, so loving, always so thoughtful. He remembers everyone's birthday. He'll drive you to the end of the earth. He'll just sacrifice himself to, to make you happy. Now, he had some great qualities and he was born on February 2nd. Continue to rest in peace, Michael Andrew Hill. I love you with all my heart. You are just the sweetest brother that any sister could have. We never fight, we never argue. It's just beautiful, you know? You know, some brothers just are not that sweet to their sisters, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> Oh, I'm running out of time, guys. But I just want to tell you guys, hang in there. It's rough. It's tough. And it, even though it seems like everything is coming against you, like you can't just get out of trouble, you have to find some good point within the day. Okay, so like my good area today is when a nurse that called on the job said to me, she said, you know something? This is the second time I'm calling and you are always so attentive. So, hmm, how do I put it? She said, you always listen and you, you don't just brush me off. She said, everyone there brushes me off. They're so angry, they're so upset. So she also said, she just said, I wanna compliment you that this is the second time we're talking and you always make me feel comfortable. You listen and you try your best to help me. So that was the high point of my day, even though all hell breaks loose and it seems no one likes you, no one appreciates you. You have to find something good within the day, every day. Take your breathing moment and give God thanks and keep on doing good. It's your girl Diane with the breathing moment. Catch y'all another time. Mwah. Have a blessed day, y'all. And keep putting the Lord first.